Classical mechanics describes the motion of particles and mechanical systems. It is the basis and framework of all of physics. Classical mechanics contains conservation laws, such as momentum and energy, which we will get into later. It also describes the principles of how systems evolve with time. Let's understand how systems evolve with time first. The numbers on this flipbook are changing every second. This is what's known as being stroboscopic, how there are many consecutive intervals or beats of time which allow a system to evolve. In this case, every second, the numbers on the screen change. Imagine this world was like this flipbook. The numbers on the flipbook represent states. Its state is everything you need to know about our system to predict what happens next. In this case, every time you see a number on the screen, you know what number is going to appear next. Therefore, you know the state of the system. Imagine that you had a dice. There are six possible outcomes the dice can produce, which are numbers 1 to 6. So the space of possible states the dice can have is 6. And this is known as the phase space. Let's make up some rules slash laws using the phase space of the dice to show you what laws are allowed in classical mechanics and which laws are not. I'm going to use number 4, but you can use any number you want. Let's say there was a rule that number 4 with time always stays back at 4, so 4 goes to 4 always. This is quite a boring rule and not much happens. It's known as a first law system because the state stays the same with time. Systems where the state changes are also allowed, so we could have a system where 1 goes to 2, 2 goes to 3, and 3 goes back to 1. You can also have a disconnected cycle to this, let's say 3, 6 and 5. In the case of this dice, there are many rules and permutations that are allowed by classical mechanics. So long as they are deterministic. Deterministic means that if you know your state at one instant of time, then you know your state forever after that. So what type of laws or rules are not allowed by classical mechanics? These will be non-deterministic rules, such as the ones shown below. It's deterministic into the future because 1 goes to 2, 2 goes to 3, and then 3 goes back to 2, and that goes on forever and ever. But it fails to be deterministic into the past, because if you were at 2, you don't know whether you came from 1 or 3. Any law that fails to be deterministic into the past or the future are laws not allowed by classical mechanics. The systems that we've discussed so far are a lot simpler than real life systems that exist in physics. In real life systems, such as when we're trying to track the motion of molecules in some period of time, our degree of imprecision increases with time. A system that gets out of control quickly is known as a chaotic system. All the rules that we've just learned apply to real life systems, it's just that in real life systems, our measurements become more imprecise with time, and lots of states can exist in the phase space following different rules as well. This is where conservation laws come to play. Conservation laws are like cheat codes for a video game. They make stuff easier. So what is a conservation law? It's a class of information conserving laws, and information conserving laws are laws that all physics applies to. A conservation law is a piece of knowledge that remains intact for all time. It's a memory of the starting place. Let me give you an example. Let's invent a variable called A. If A doesn't change with time, like this, then it's conserved. However, if the variable A changed to B, then it's changing in time, and therefore it's not conserved. So how does all this and all these arrows that we've just learned apply to real life particles? I'm going to show you now. We learned that states turn to other states, or stay the same state, following a deterministic rule. In classical physics, everything's made out of particles. So what do we need to know to determine the state of a particle? We need to know where it is and the velocity it has because the velocity is how fast something's going in a given direction. Join me next time where we shall continue with classical physics. And if you learned something, don't forget to subscribe. Knowing that you like my videos and are engaged to it is what keeps me motivated to make more videos.